Today, we're gonna to talk about four things that you will never see in any of my training programs as the king of programming. We're gonna start right now. The third thing you will never see in my training programs is linear style periodization where we have specific blocks of time focused on one specific quality of fitness. Now, my disclaimer is I have personally used linear periodization. I have used it with clients, but I will tell you that after two decades, I have found it to be, how can I say, less likely of getting to the desired outcome than I want it to be. I see people get to their desired outcome in a better, a more efficient way by using a concurrent model of training where we're training multiple qualities of fitness. Louis Simmons used to say linear periodization is like going three quarters of the way up the mountain and then coming back down. What he means by that is when you try to gain one quality, let's say you're trying to gain maximal strength, you invariably lose other qualities in your quest to do so. Okay, if you're trying to gain hypertrophy, a lot of times you lose power. Now, a better approach, in my opinion, is training multiple qualities of fitness within the week. The other aspect of this too, is that we have the ability to auto-regulate. We have the ability to go based on our varying levels of stress. Life is very dynamic. I don't know anything in life that is linear where we could just go set our watch to it and it happens the way we would like it to. Nothing goes like that. There are always things that come up. And when we can base our life or base our training off of how things are changing on a day-to-day -day basis, then we have more chance of success. When you are more stressed out, that doesn't mean that you should be pushing the envelope. And on a linear based cycle, you could be pushing the envelope during, during your highest times of stress or your worst time of the year. Sometimes things work out that way. So I will tell you that I've never seen it to be prudent to adhere to a linear style of training. As I've gotten older, I've seen this to be more of the case. Okay, now as I was, when I was younger in my 20s, I could do linear training and have it play out pretty well. But back then was a very different person. I didn't have kids. I didn't have a business. And my whole goal was to get strong, get powerful, eat as many calories as possible, sleep as much as I needed to. Again, different person. So if you are someone that's been training for a long period of time, using a concurrent model of training is going to be your best course of action. Not only that, it is more fun. It allows you more variability. It's more diverse. It's not just focusing on one specific thing where we tend to just get kind of in a routine where it becomes monotonous. That is not the case with concurrent training. And my fourth and final thing that you will never see in my training programs is a body part split, a traditional hypertrophy split, bro split, call it whatever you want, geared towards just improving muscle groups, just improving aesthetics. There is always some element of multiple qualities of fitness within my training program. And with a body part split, it tends to be very rigid. It tends to rely on your ability to commit to more sessions per week. What I tend to see, and I've done this poll a number of times with the thousands of people that use my training, is that most people kind of fall into the three to four times per week. When we ask them, what is the maximum amount of time that you can train under worst case scenario? Not best case, or not what you've done in your past that you had success with. What is best case for scenario based on, you know, if things go completely wrong in your life? And a lot of times we get the three to four is kind of that sweet spot. So if we know three to four is a sweet spot, we can reverse engineer and put people in a better position. I have found that a better position for most people is using one of two splits, a full body split, which tends to be greatest good for greatest number. We train all the foundational movement patterns, our squat, our single leg, our hip hinge, our push, our pull, and some direct abdominal work, even loaded carries fit into there as well as using a lower body split and an upper body split. Okay, so the full body split works well in three main sessions per week, not including your aerobic conditioning, which would still fit in there, especially if you're someone that's highly stressed out. And the lower upper split would fit with four main strength sessions per week. So again, right in that three to four times a week sweet spot and thinking about people's needs. What do people need to get better as a whole? People need to Downregulate the stress response. Most people are living in fight or flight. We do that with our low intensity work. People need to get stronger with the right movement patterns. Again, the foundational movement patterns I just mentioned. And then of course, if you have a specific goal that may be slightly outside of that, maybe you wanna get more powerful or you wanna improve performance, then we can certainly start biasing some of those qualities and singling out more specific qualities of strength within that, those splits. 
Okay, so there's a lot of ways to skin the cat here, but by and large, you're not gonna see a chest and back day, a triceps or a direct arm work day. You're not gonna see my training organized that way ever. Because again, the main thing is the rigidity of it. Will someone get res results training that way? They certainly can and they certainly do. But the people that train with me that are regular people that have an athletic background tend to fall into the sweet spot of how many days they can train per week being three to four. And again, the last thing I want to just kind of say to this end is that if we're thinking about the best training program for someone, we have to look at and dive deep with how much they can commit in terms of days per week. And when you dig with that, you usually find out that the real answer, the true answer is something lower than what they think it is. A lot of people think that they can train days per week based on what they've had success with. So you're like, oh, in my twenties, I had success doing a body part split and I trained six days per week. And people think about those times where they had great results, but they don't think about that their life was very different then. I was a different person then. And just because you had results then doesn't mean you're going to have results now with that same approach. And the thing that got you to where you want to essentially go is might not be the thing that you used in the past. So being um, very dynamic and being able to evolve and really listen to the needs of, the, of most people is important. And this is why I don't use a body part split. If you stuck around to the end of this video and you are someone that wants to learn more about programming, join my weekly EWOD newsletter. The link is in the comments. We drop a ton of free value. We're not going to spam you. It's only high value stuff about programming and a lot of free stuff that we are dropping on a weekly basis there. So love to have you guys on board. best program available on the internet today. I think it's very difficult to find a trainer like Jason. That Since joining Everyday Heroes, I feel like I've stopped working out and actually started training.